everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amora Love and today I am doing a mukbang with Major Motivations. What's up you guys? Today we got the smacking Everett and Jones. As y'all can see, it's everything that you could imagine. We got the ribs, the brisket, the links, the cornbread that's amazing. You know, we got some bread to wrap them links in. And we got this nice socket to me cake. So, you know, we finna sock it right to y'all and get right into it. Oh my God. I got yams and collard greens, y'all. First of all, I want y'all to know, these are our forks. <laughs> they did not give us forks. They was dirty, actually. They okay. gave them. It, was, it looked like... Giving us dirty forks is just as bad as giving yeah, us no, no forks. forks basically, because yeah. we had to use yours. Okay, I'm looking at your plate. I'm looking at my plate. What you want to get into first? I'm liking how them greens look, so mm -hmm. I don't know. But this mac and cheese is steaming. It's looking See, good. I'm going to let you keep that to yourself. But if you want to dip in on these greens, these yams, there's ribs. And mine's is medium, though, Ooh. which is kind of a little bit on the spicy side, you guys. Just a little bit. On the spicy side, because you got that little yeah. heartburn thing on us. Sometimes, um, I ain't gonna lie, them yams got like a, like a candy paint on them. I can tell they really put that love into <laughs> when they cooked it, you feel me that? <laughs> I'm liking these links, I want to start with this meat first, so I'm gonna yeah. hop into that and see how that works I out. I think I'm gonna, um, get my brisket all wet and juicy with the barbecue sauce and fold it with the wheat bread with the yams and the greens, oh, like yeah. a little bread taco. Okay, I see what you mean. You, so, um, you didn't did this before, I uh, see. It. All the time. I like concoctions, concoctions is my jam. <laughs> I just like to mix heck of good stuff. Whoops, I'm getting the table, the table dirty already. Okay. Oh my God, y'all, this looks and smells so good. You know when it smells good, see sometimes when something smells good, it don't taste good, it just smells so good that it, it invites you into it. But when it tastes good too, man. Yo, look at this taco though. Oh, okay. It's got all the fixings. That's a nigrit taco, <laughs> just so y'all know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's so good. I used to eat this like twice a week. Twice a week? Mm -hmm. What you related to Oprah? <laughs> twice a week? This was once a month. <laughs> I already right. had to do, be doing a red moon. Yeah, uh, combined, our order came up to like 60 bucks. But we got a three-way platter and a two-way platter, and both platters come with two sides, so. Which and actually we, ain't that bad for right. two people, you know what I'm saying? And we got cake, too, so. Plus, this is like, who gonna really eat all of this in one sitting? You gonna have leftovers for sure. Well, at least I will. I was just gonna say, <laughs> growing up in the ghetto, there are no such thing as leftovers. That was a hot commodity, you had leftovers. Spaghetti sometimes, you know, because spaghetti fill you up, so you had to eat it the next day too for lunch. Mm -hmm. The concoction is everything. If I eat these links too much, they're gonna be gone. So let me let me dip into this mac and cheese real quick. Now, this is what I go there for, just so y'all know. The mac and cheese. You really like it that much? Let me tell you. Kinda. Like I said, I don't go there too often. And when I do go. I just, mm -hmm. I get what I like. That's good. But, you know, are you one of those type of people that when you go to places, you just get the same thing every time, or do you try something different? I get the same thing every time. Oh, see. And what's mm -hmm. funny is, I look at the menu like I'm not finna get the same thing I always get. I have my whole mind changed, and then as soon as the waiter come, I end up resorting back to what I always get. Like every Story place I have a life. specific thing. Every single place. Really? Same? But you know what's crazy though? I'm also one of those people like when I travel, especially if I go to a different state, different country, I always make sure that I at least try one new food place that I've never tried before or a different type of food from a different culture. And with that, I just, you know, when I go in there, I usually order two to three different items and just, you know, kind of see what they say is the best items. And you know what I'm saying? Okay, do I like this? I didn't like that. But I did like this, you know, just trying to go for the experience. But right. for my hometown places, when I go there, I get what I, I get what I like. Every time, the same thing. And I'm gonna look at you like I don't know what I want the whole time. They be sitting there like, you know what you want to say? I'll be like, let me see the menu one more time for the 38th time just to check 
that I'm gonna get the same thing number three. <laughs> Sometimes with new places, I'll ask them like what their favorite is or what's the mo most popular thing, like why do people come there? And then it actually be snacking. Or I'll go on Google and I'll look at the pictures that the customers took and then I can decide off that. That's how I really know if I want to try a new place Give or not. Give me real pictures, the yeah, customer pictures. Yeah, I always get the customer pictures first. Cause I will eat anything, but I'll only eat anything good. Like I'm not <laughs> just gonna eat no nasty shit just to eat some What's hella stuff. funny is because I went to uh, the Cheesecake Factory. I'll bring you food suggestion because I went one time and a guy told me to get something but let me just tell you <laughs> never again mm. I don't take suggestions no more Cheesecake Factory be hit or miss for me what? I feel like they hold me they don't specialize in nothing but cheesecake and I don't even be eating cheesecake like that and they hold menu was like a novel <laughs> like I don't think I how do they even remember everything that's on their menu? Like that's a whole study course in itself. I wonder do they have to study it though? Probably, because yeah. I worked at Togo's once and she tried to make me learn 20 sandwiches in an hour. I was like... That's how they be at Irish. I was yeah. like, give me a Michael Jordan. They'd be like, at this location, we don't have that. <laughs> but we have boop, 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 and it comes with boop, boop. And I'd be like, bro, you sure that one got lettuce too? It got to be a standard for every sandwich. You just remember that part. And right. Each sandwich got one thing. One little thing. A mm -hmm. little special sauce here and there. Damn, this shit hard as hell. Normally it falls the bone, but god damn. Right. They rushing today. I know. She hung up in my face on the phone. I was like, damn. I was calling to see if they was open because you guys know everything going on. So I was like, hi, are you guys open? She was like, yeah. She was like, what can I get you? I was like, oh, I'm gonna call you right back. I just wanted to see if y'all was open. And she just hung up in my face. <laughs> I'm like, damn. But then what's funny is when I called to actually order, she was, it was a, I don't know if it was the same girl or a different girl, but she was so sweet. She sounded like somebody mama or auntie or something. Like she was gonna break me over, so. <laughs> Big difference. You gonna break me over, I know. She said, all right, baby, I'll see you soon. I'm like, okay. In Oakland, got some Southern hospitality. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what it is, some Oakland hospitality. Yeah. Let me see what you talk about. Like, she talk about I these greens. I need to learn greens, how to though. make them. Yeah. You know how to make collard greens? Yes, I do. Can you teach me? Uh, on another video. Oh yeah, let's do it. You gonna teach me how to make some collard greens? You gotta tell me what's your favorite food, so I can try to make your food favorite food, and you could try to make my favorite food. And we gonna see who really. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm down. Boss. Phenomenal. Okay. Mm-hmm. I felt it. See? Mm -mm. Shower down some Everton Jones. But this is like, you know, I don't eat like this all the time. Used to. That's because I was just always in that area. And it's like, if you next to Everton Jones, you gonna go get some Everton Jones. And I just happened to be around there so much, so I would just order it all the time. Mm -hmm. Good, huh? Yeah, that brisket is where it was at. I'm so full, y'all. I don't know. That sake timmy though. I never had sake timmy cake before. Never? I, I would try it. I'm trying. I didn't have sake timmy cake before. Mm -hmm. What did it taste like? I can take a bite. You you ever been so full you feel like you can't crunch over like you just gotta be like, let's have a feel. The eight months pregnant joint. I'm like, oh my god. Huh? Alright, let me try. Should I get some with frosting on it? Okay. Yeah, you gotta get the whole experience. Okay, okay hold on. Let me so good. Phenomenal. The cake? No, I'm gonna oh. try the cake. I was waiting for you. You want oh. to try it? <laughs> I know what it tastes oh. like. Oh, I never taste the beer. Oh, okay, okay. My bad. I, I was waiting for you. Ready? Cheers. Ready? It's good. For me, it's sweet. The frosting isn't as heavy as I've seen it before. The frosting tastes like Pillsbury frosting. I can taste that. Mm -hmm. I can't finish chewing though because me and sweets don't really get along. I will say, it's sweet if you like sugar cookies. Yeah. Like, you know, like. Okay. This tastes like if a snickerdoodle was a cake. Yes. Especially with the frosting and this little. And it had extra that sugar that on it. Right there. <laughs> but, yeah, this I can say was a phenomenal meal. Other than that, definitely, I would say, you know, leave comments and, um, anything else? Um, no. Thanks for watching, you guys. We really appreciate it. Make sure you guys 
please go to Major Motivation's channel and subscribe to him. I'm going to pin his comment and leave it the first link in the description. Make sure you guys subscribe. Go watch a few of his videos. Ask us any questions y'all want to ask us. And we will see you guys in another video. Bye. That's what I always do. Oh. I always go, bye. Bye. It was bomb, though. It was. I'm surprised I got to get some lips. I wonder when the last time I had Rejo. It's been a minute. Yeah. That was delicious. Yeah. It was delicious.